Hey guys, sorry it's awkward. The beginnings of these lives are so awkward because we're just setting up everything and now we're just waiting to see if you guys are going to see us. So it seems hey guys, to be working. Sorry it's awkward. Oh, okay. Okay, there you go. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, hey, everyone. First of all, <laughs> sorry you're running a little late. Yeah, but yeah, we were, we were like two or three <laughs> minutes late. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Because it's the morning and we're not our sharpest in the morning. Yeah. So I see there's already quite a few of you here. Even Hi, French everyone. people. Yeah, Spirit of Shadows. Uh, <clears throat> comment ça va, ça va bien? Merci beaucoup. Hi, guys. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, so as you can guess by the title of this video, it's uh, titled How We Met, Started Dating, and Broke Up. <coughs> so what we thought we would be doing uh, in this live event is uh, just talk to you guys about how we, how we met me and Brian, how like our experience was being a couple, and now there were ups and downs, and now we're here. <laughs> so <laughs> that pretty much sums it up, right? I guess it does. <laughs> so, of course, we're going to be watching the chat section as we speak. So if you guys have any questions or comment on it, feel free to do it. And with that said, we should jump right in. Yeah, it. we should jump right in. The, the one thing I don't remember, like I know we've been together, but we've, we've known each other for, for what, eight years? Yeah, we've been unofficially together for the first two years. And for the rest of the time, we've been together. So that's six years. Six years. Okay, so total eight. How old were we when we met? I was seventeen. So I was old. I was eighteen because I'm one year older than Brian, and uh, it was at school. It was here in, in Quebec. We have something different from most of you guys. Is we have high school. We do about five years in high school, and then we got like a two year period between high school and university of uh, like prepare pre university pre Look what you made me do now. Pre-university courses. Yeah. <laughs> or and vocational study. Yeah. So we met there and that's where it all started. And I remember during those years, I was super the, like the kind of rebel guy. And I had this teenage attitude and I was mean to everybody. And I was just so... Even with me. Even, <laughs> especially with Brian. That was so... We funny. had a couple classes together, I think. But the class where I noticed you, I think it was a psychology class. Uh, that you noticed me? Sorry. Yeah. I don't know if it's the one you noticed me, but the one that I noticed you in was in sociology. sociology. We worked together in sociology. Deviance of... Love, oh, like was it with David Miller? Yeah, that was it. <gasps> so that's where I first noticed you. I mean, I, I saw, I've seen you before, before that. Uh, I don't know in another class, but I didn't really pay attention. But that was the, the first time that I really like. I noticed senpai. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you noticed the senpai. Yeah, but one thing you should know is that during those classes, I always used to sit at the back. Like completely at the back, so I can get a view of all the other classmates and people and judge them. And Brian would always sit like kind of at the front because you would come in a bit late usually. No, not late, just on time. Yeah, yeah, on time. <laughs> I would be there like fifteen minutes in advance. I don't know why. And yes, um, sorry, some people are reading this maybe wrong, but no, we did not break up. It was this is just some I'm sort of storytelling. No, because some yeah. people think we broke up now. Oh, not now. During like it's a complicated story because what we're doing right now is we're telling like the whole story of how we we met and in the beginnings. But we'll was, get to that. Yeah, yeah, we're 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 not to that part yet. Okay, so so yeah, I know the, I know you I know the student class and then you know the, you know me and I was super sexy at the time and I was wearing my pants and everything and you started looking at me during the classes, right? Like this. Yeah. Like Brian, Brian would be at the front of the class and he would turn around completely and just stare at me. Like he would stare at me super weirdly and I would be on my desk like this and I would look at him and I would be like, what the hell? What is he doing, that guy? <laughs> and I was texting my friends and I was like, guys, I have another stalker. Because I used to have a couple stalkers back then. Mm -hmm. People would just follow me around, look at me and try mm -hmm. to, to get with me because mm -hmm. I was that sexy guy. Oh, get out. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, you were looking at me funny and I was looking <coughs> at you back and I was texting my friends. I was saying, this guy is super weird, blah, 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 the usual stuff. And then one day we had an exam. 
like we do in, in psychology. In psychology, and it was a pretty easy exam. And as usual, I finished it really early. But what I, what I'm doing when I do the, these exam is I finish it once super early, and then I go through every questions again and make sure that my answers are right. And Brian would just like finish his copy and just get up and leave. So he, he would be already out by the time I would end my copy. Yeah, I used to finish very early in those yeah. days. So uh, I, I was kind of almost the last one to leave the classroom. And as I left and handed my exam to the professor, I exited the classroom. And then Brian was waiting for me the whole time outside the classroom. But I had a purpose. <laughs> I wasn't just stalking. Yeah. I was like, Hi, what's your name? He's like, Pascal, I already know that stuff. I stalked you on Facebook. I haven't I just haven't added you yet. And so I knew everything and I asked him uh, if he's doing anything for the group project, if he's with anyone, and if he would like to join our group, because I was with my group already, like physically right there. My group was confronting you. Yeah. And you were and I was sort like, of I was forced back, into yeah. submission and I was say yes. Back to the wall and they were pressuring me and looking at me and they were like, You're gonna be our partner for this project. Yeah, not really. <laughs> I was just asking nicely and I think I didn't come across as a stalker and I think I actually came across as pretty pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I remember I used to I, I just said like, sure, okay. Yeah, and then I said, like, oh, by the way, I just while we're walking up. away in the hallway, yeah. by the way, would you? me and my friends are going to Montreal for uh, on Friday night, just, you know, hanging out. And we're just 17, so no drinking, nothing. So that's our version no of hanging drinking. out. <laughs> no drinking. But no, literally no drinking. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's true. Because <laughs> we were too young. So, yeah, we just like to hang out in Montreal or downtown. And but before that, I remember <laughs> you tried to catch my attention with the classic... Uh, this yeah, thing, but it worked. No, it didn't work at first because uh, oh, I definitely got your as attention. I was exiting. I think the sociology class, no psychology, psychology. I was walking past your desk and you were waiting for me to pass past your desk, and then you just stared at me and went with your arm like this. <laughs> so I would notice you, and I, it got me so mad that I just left the classroom and didn't even look at you. And then afterward, when you invited me on that hangout thing with your friends. I just said yes because I felt bad because I, I was mean to you. Yeah. And it was like a um, just a way to, to show that I was human. It's a pity. You yeah. took pity upon me. Yeah, I took that pity. That is awful. But it's not awful. Look where we are now. And very happy. And yeah, so it all came down to one Friday after school. You, you told me, like, meet me up in the cafeteria and we're going to go to Montreal with his friends. And I was like, okay, sure. <clears throat> I didn't know what uh, I remember the exact uh, text message response you sent me was sure sure why not and a why <laughs> and a why not a w h y you really wrote why not and yeah. I was like how lazy whatever <laughs> oh, oh just lazy. just for continue a question here I want to answer it's uh, Ronald McDonald wants to lick your fries oh says at school did people use gay as an insult yeah absolutely when I was younger yeah. they <clears throat> used to call people gay to insult them. And I don't know if they still do it in school. You guys could tell us that. But it's something that people would call people like they didn't like. And it was for them, it was an insult. Yeah, and I guess. Yeah, I, I heard it uh, thrown around a couple of times. Sometimes at me, but they wouldn't do it in a mean way. They just didn't know what it, what it can actually do. Oh, here you, you see random girls says it's, it still does today. So. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> why is it an insult? But for me, it I, doesn't affect me very much. I think it's because they feel like it's out of the norm and it's just weird people were gay, so it's, it's kind easy of an single to single that word out. Yeah. Anyways, like out. I hope it will change someday. Yeah. Okay, so back to the date uh, in the city after class on a Friday after. Just going to the city, there was something. Yeah, but I first, mean, I remember I finished classes and you were waiting for me in the cafeteria of the school. And That's I was walking. And you were finishing classes because you did have class that day. Oh, so I came just for you? Yep. Wow. We're on the bus. And yeah. So I was walking down the hallway to the cafeteria and he was sitting there and it was like, hey, hi, let's go to your date thing in Montreal. But it wasn't like, like a date. It was just like a double the date. Way, the way I understood it, it was just like hanging out with new potential friends, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you told me I met you and you were like, oh, cool, you're here. Uh, we're gonna go with my car. <clears throat> no, we were said. going. Where I don't remember where we were going with my car. 
Uh, probably down the end of the parking lot. Oh, probably. Because we were very close to the school. So I just wanted us to go all the way down the parking lot so, A, there wouldn't be any, like, hazard. Yeah. Which is ridiculous because that other side of the parking lot is more hazardous. Yes. So, and B, because it would have been a shorter walking distance. Yeah. So that's what we did. And actually, that was the plan. But I said it was an old 95 Taurus. Uh, I don't remember thing. it. It was super uh, like an old, ugly car. It was, it, was, it was white on the exterior and all the interior. It was green, forest green inside. Forest green inside, like the bench, the dashboard, the, the wheel, everything. It was my first car. Yep. And so I, I told him, I said, okay, don't judge my car. It uh, looks like a piece of crap, but it actually we it actually works. So I get we get in the car. He's like, okay. Okay, sure. We get in the car. Does not start. The battery's dead. <laughs> I don't wonder what do I look like. So the piece of crap Idiot. car he had. He, he told me like it's super old. It looks like shit, but it's gonna work. It's gonna get us where we want to get. And then he turned the key, and it didn't work. So his car was like totally useless. No, it and was I remember very ridiculous. I just started laughing. Yeah, it was, it made a good first impression. I was totally embarrassed, and I was like, this is shit on wheels. <laughs> I mean, this is the worst situation that you can possibly put me in car yeah and luckily enough you know like i don't know my friend shows up and she has booster cables and <laughs> that's the first impression he gets of us is this little <laughs> criminology student and two uh, med students <laughs> trying to boost a car <laughs> it was so funny and she's like hi pascal nice to meet you but hold these cables while i open the hood so yeah, that was how it happened. And, and it boosted worked. my car, it worked, and then we were down the driveway and off we were to Montreal. And off we were to Montreal and we had an amazing time. Like these guys, I was like, well, these guys are cool. They're fun. I can make new friends. Because I had one problem when I was younger and I still have it. I have difficulties <laughs> like meeting new people and making new friends. And it was super hard <clears throat> for me to get out of my comfort zone. And just doing this like kind of double date thing, which I didn't, I wasn't aware it was a double thing. Me neither. Uh, it changed my, my way of seeing like Brian and his friends. And it was like, okay, this is cool. I have fun. And we just hang out in the city. We went to a restaurant. We had some inside jokes that were super fun. And it was just a pleasant day. But I remember we went in the gay village. We did. We did. And we <laughs> just for fun, you know, we were kids and we were just one yeah, yeah, because we didn't things. hang out there very often. Yeah, I mean, the only ever, the only time I ever been there was with these friends. Because Brian was openly out and gay, but I wasn't. And the, these guys, like Brian and his friends, weren't sure if I was gay or not. And uh, Brian's friend just said, "Hey, why we why don't we go to a se oh yeah uh, the sex shop the sex shop here just like a dare <clears throat> like I, I'm sure you're not even uh, courageous enough like to game. enter yeah." And I was like, sure, why not? And they were all surprised. And we went inside and we were like, oh my God, what is this? And we were like, ah, 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 and screaming. And as we were uh, exploring the store, uh, Brian's friend just turned around and said, you're oh, gay, right? By the way, you're gay, right? And, she does and I was like, I felt two things. First thing was, she did not just ask that. The second thing, uh, the second thing I was feeling was like, oh, please say yes, please say it. And he's like, yeah. Yeah, just turned around and said, <gasps> yeah. I was so why? happy, I was relieved. And it, it was like super like nonchalantly, and it was like, what's the deal? Sure, yeah. And she was like, oh, okay. But it was very awkward. I mean, yeah. well, the Brent way was, she asked it was she, awkward. Brian was shaking because he, he was so nervous. He wanted me to say yes, right? Yeah, I wanted you to say yes. Because he just wanted to get in my pants. <laughs> oh, be quiet. <laughs> and I said yes, and then we continued, and we had some fun. And after that, I don't remember what we did. Did we just go home? I don't remember if that's the first thing we did, the first place we went to. Was it? Maybe after that we went to the drag queen bar and got kicked out. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. We went to a bar, but we were underage. No, but, I was oh, underage. He was underage. But I we were underage. all underage except for you. Yeah, because I'm, I'm the, the oldest and most oldest. wise guy. And we Jeez. entered a bar, and I, was, and I was like, Brian, just act cool, and I'm going to order something to drink, and blah, blah, blah. So this drag queen arrives and asks us if we want to drink something. And I was like about to say like, yeah, something with alcohol or something like that. And Brian just said, oh, water for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, water. And then the, the, the drag queen just looked at it and she was like, water? Please show me your ID. <laughs>
Water and me. then we were kicked out. <laughs> yes, that, oh, I need to see your ID. Well, I don't have my ID. Well, they're gonna ask you to leave. Oh, that is so awful, but that's the truth. <laughs> I was dumb, young, and full of well, whatever. It was pretty memorable. Uh, so we got out and we were like there for like two minutes, not even two minutes. So. Uh, that was quite funny. That was my first time in a drag queen bar, and I haven't been there ever since. We should go. But it's been almost ten years. We should go this summer when when the temperature's going to be right. Ten years. Ten years. I can't believe it. Okay, so that was it. That was it. We we went back, and I think we hang out in your car together. No, 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 no. no. First, we went for food at the, yeah at, at the, the burger thing. Yeah, at and the Dutch. place it's super cozy <clears throat> in Montreal. It's a small restaurant. It's a fifties diner. It's a fifties diner in like in a triangle shape. Right. And yeah, the, the place where you eat, it's super like tiny and it's a triangle place and everyone like it's a tight squeeze. Yeah, we're all squeezed together and the tables are really small and we were four in one booth. And I remember that my legs were touching the other guy's legs, like one of Brian's friend. And then he just started like... He started rubbing, rubbing his my, foot along his yeah, leg because he thought he was the, the table pole. Yeah, but like, at first I didn't know what he was doing. Like I just felt his leg and he was just feeling my leg and just like rubbing it. Getting a little frisky. And I was like, what should I do? I don't even know these people really well. I was like, uh, and I was afraid to say like, why are you doing this? Because I didn't want to make it awkward. And then he just jumped and said, oh my God, is this your leg? And I was like, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I, 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 I thought it was the, the table thing. And I was, like, I was like, even if it was the table thing, why, why do you, you rub it? Why do you rub it? <laughs> so yeah. this got me pretty like, okay. It was cool. And then we went to Starbucks. Of course. Which I didn't usually go a lot before. Yeah. It wasn't my go-to place, but now it is. <laughs> so we were going to Starbucks, and that's when my friend... The same guy who rubbed his feet all over you spilled his coffee on you and on himself. And I think I remember him actually, uh, I, I was going to say soil, but it's not soil. It actually spilling, okay, spilling some coffee on his in his underwear. I don't know yeah. how he did that. I mean, we were in September. No. September. No, we were in September. Maybe. Yeah, I think. No, no. Impossible. No, it was uh, like in April or May. Or... That late? Yeah, because it was good outside. No, it was, yeah, okay, probably April. Yeah, because we started like knowing each other in February. And <clears throat> not long after that, we just hang out. Okay. Okay, so that's it. And then we had a great day and then we returned and then did we hang out in your car? Or not? Yeah. Then we came back and we... Was it the time you played me some guitar? Mm -hmm. okay. I brought my guitar. I don't remember why I brought so that my guitar. Was, that was super cheesy. We got back, his friends left, and we just hang out in his car. Like, it was dark outside, and we just started talking, <coughs> and I was super excited because I had such a fun day and fun trip with them, and it was a period of my life where I was so down in general and feeling a bit depressed because uh, it was my, like, I had been, like, in love with another guy who was straight and blah, 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 and I was feeling just so down and depressed with life in general. And just having this afternoon with these new people and potentially meeting some new friends and just having some fun together without doing any alcohol or things like that, it was super, like, a big game changer for me. And I remember, like, we just sat and Brian, the, the, there was a guitar and just started playing it. It was kind of cheesy, like, but in, it worked. In, in the movies. But I was like, hey, that's cool. And you're good with the guitar. And did we sit on the, the, the top of your car? After. After we just sat on it and we stared at the sky. and. It was very romantic, but I like I didn't feel like we would be a couple yet. Like I just felt it was a good time. But I knew that this guy had something for me. Like <laughs> you wouldn't do this to any other guy. Like no, it was just obvious. But I wasn't ready for that. So we ended up the night, and I, I get back home in this <clears> new <throat> bus, and I remember texting my friends uh, saying, "Hey, I just got back from a." Uh, like hanging out with these guys and they were actually pretty cool. I had a fun time and they're nice. They're nice people. <laughs> and afterwards we started hanging out together at school and hanging out more. And then we, we decided to go, was it one week after together? Just the yeah, two of we us. went just together. We went to see a movie. Mm -hmm. Sherlock Holmes. Was that what it was? Yeah, it was Sherlock Holmes. Uh, which one? The first one. I it, don't know. Yeah. It, I think it was a, the first Sherlock Holmes they did with Robert Downey Jr. And after that, uh, we, did we started making out in the theater? Yeah, we did. No, because I remember after, like after the movie was done, 
uh, like these guys no, we didn't make sweep out. the floor and we were hu we hugged we didn't we didn't make out we hugged are you sure yeah because I remember when we made out when it was in the car it wasn't in the theater okay but it was kind of the romantic thing and then we yeah. we, we just uh, like had some fun we got back to the car and started kissing right yeah well that's when just when, when I was dropping you off for you to go home okay and you made the move right I made the move yeah you made the move and you were it was like you were a terrible kisser <laughs> no, no, okay. i'm terrible i'm a passionate <laughs> oh yeah i was passionate all that's right the difference okay <laughs> so afterwards i got back home and i guess we were a couple now and i i don't know how i, how I felt about it because like from that point on i was like Oops. afraid to lose you as a friend because we would be a couple and things would be different and i remember when when i go i got to school the other week you were very open about it. You would want to hold my hand in public and you would, would even want me to kiss you like in the cafeteria in front of people before I go to classes. And I didn't feel comfortable with that at all. I was super shy and I was like, yeah, but you didn't tell me. Yeah, but I, I didn't know how to tell you. And then things got super weird and I felt too rushed into things. And I remember, I think not even one week after we got together, I gave you a call. Yeah. Well, I texted you, I need to talk to you, I think. Yeah, and I sort of knew. And then I gave him a call and I said, Brian, I think we should break up. So hence the title of the video. That's, and then. That's what, like six years ago. Again, I reacted in a way that you wouldn't expect. Yeah, he was which, super angry and just uh, hang up. Yeah, I was angry, but I didn't let it show that much. What I did was, well, I guess we had a nice time together. It was nice to know you. And uh, I guess uh, I'll see you around in class. And, uh, but he hope did. Hope you have a good life. And then I hung yeah. up. Who would say, it was super mean, hope you have a good life. And then he hung up. And I was like, oh no, I, I, not only have I lost like, that relationship, but uh, this friend also, and I felt super sad. And I started crying, yep. like super hardcore. And I remember I would just try to call him back so many times and he wouldn't answer the phone. Because, he was, he no, was pouting. no, it's not because of that. It's because I was 17 and I didn't have a contract with my phone. I was, you know, minutes. And I had no more minutes left. So that's why I didn't answer because no call. I had no incoming calls. So you call my dad's phone because that's yeah, the you phone on which you called me, on which I called you from. Because you didn't answer, and I mm -hmm. and I called, and I remember your, your dad picked up, and I was like, uh, "Could I speak to Brian, please?" Uh, and he, he was like, uh, "Okay, <laughs> Brian." So you took out the phone, and I was like, "Brian," and, and I was crying, and so then we patched things up, and then yeah, but we decided to stay friends. It was weird. We were like, oh, "Okay, we're gonna still be friends." It was awkward. I was like, "Okay," and then when I went back to school the next day or week, I remember you were giving some classes to students who had difficulties in English writing. No, I was a tutor. And I was standing outside the room in which you were with a student, and I was waiting for you to come out and talk to you, and you were like. Hey, what's up? What are you doing here? And you were super mean. <laughs> and I was like, oh, but, 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 but I want to hang out with you and I want to be your friend and blah, 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 blah. And then we patched things up eventually and we were super good friends. And when I say super good friends, it's like plus plus friends. You know what I mean? And, and it was like that for how long? Two years. Two years. Because we, we, like in my how I felt things, I was like, Brian is like my closest friend at the moment, and you're a friend and that's it. But I know he had feelings for me. Mm -hmm. And I, I told him, I know you have feelings for me, and like me, I'm not prepared for that, and I don't feel like I have the feeling, the same feeling for you. And I was like, so we're gonna be friends, but I was telling Brian, if you meet someone someday, please, like, don't, how do we say, please yourself? Oh, don't don't hold don't, back. don't hold back on don't hold back and meet someone, new people yeah. and fall in love with a new guy because I couldn't stand seeing him because he felt sad that I was I wasn't feeling the same same way for him and I would be always telling him like go meet new people go go out with new guys and meet somebody you don't know you might meet a, a new guy like me and go out with him and it went like that for two years and then I remember when we started university. I started. You started. Like I already started it, but you started, and uh, you met a guy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what was his name? Well, I don't know. Uh, I know, but I'm not. Okay, gonna yeah, we're not going to tell his name, <laughs> just in case he's watching. And Brian would tell me, "Oh, I'm, I met this guy, and he's super like cute and super fun. I'm going to meet him." And I was like, 
inside of me, I was like, okay, that's cool. That's what I was telling you to do, like meet new people and just go out and explore things. I was like, okay, that, that's cool for you, right? I'm proud of you. And then you, you told me like, oh, I want to see him. It was great and blah, blah, blah. And I was asking you, did you kiss him? What did you do? Is he interested? Oh, he seems interested, blah, blah, blah. And then I remember we were closing in on Christmas. It, I think it was the 24th. <laughs> the 24th, like Christmas Eve, you were at my place because I used to bring him over at my place with my parents and family because we would celebrate Christmas together. Because that's how close we were. <laughs> and that's kind of fucked up now that I think about it. Isn't it? For you, it must have been weird. I was in the friend zone for so <laughs> long. That was like some seriously intense friend zone. Like it's almost as if we would take pictures together and I would be like, this guy is so perfect, but he's, a, he's just my friend. He's just my friend, guys. It wasn't like that. It was exactly that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. But I remember it was Christmas Eve on the 24th, and mm -hmm. you were... Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Because he's always late for buying gifts. And he, was, <laughs> <laughs> he had run downstairs with my mom, I think. No, it was upstairs in the, in the powder room. I don't know. And he was, like, wrapping up my gift for, like, a couple hours I would be opening it. Because he's, he's last minute like that. I bought it the same day. And while he was doing so, he just left his phone on the bed in my room. Oh, you never told me that, that you went through the phone? Yes, I told you. No. And what I did, what I did, guys, is I went through his phone. I don't know why I did it. I felt jealous. And I know it's a bad thing to do to go through someone's phone without them knowing it. And it's I an still invasion. didn't know this six years on. It's an invasion of privacy and all. I know, I know. But I had to do it just to know what these two were up to. And I went through the messages and it was super cheesy. And it was like, oh, I can't wait to see you when we're going to watch movies. That's together. not true. I never said can't wait to see you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so no. excited. We're I can watch admit that I said that I was, we were going to watch a movie. We're but I never watch. said I was looking forward to see you. <laughs> we're going to watch the movies together and we're going to cuddle. And That's gonna, not true. We're going to do the love thing. And, and it's going to be You're so hard. And, and I felt horrible. And I remember I started crying. And I was so confused at the time. I didn't understand why. I was like, this is what I told Brian to do. I told him to meet someone new and get out and meet, meet and make a boyfriend and everything. But when it really happened and it was on the verge of happening, it like completely brought me down. And I was crying, and then uh, Brian came back upstairs because he just finished uh, wrapping up my gift. <laughs> and he saw me, and did you saw me like cry? Or? Well, I saw you were trying to yeah, hide, like, hide your tears. I was like, what's wrong with you? And then uh, I, I told him, like, Brian, that's it. No, the first thing you asked was, are you, are you going out with this guy? And yeah. And I said, are no. you officially going out with I this said, guy? I said, no, I'm not. And then he's like, are you sure? I'm like, yes, I'm sure. And so that, that's when he said, I think I love you. Yeah, I, I just <laughs> look at him and I think, I think I love you, Brian. And then we kissed. And then we officially started going out together again. Again. <laughs> when you stopped crying. Yeah, because I was crying a lot. And then we were like, oh, we're a couple now. <clears throat> and was it the same day you texted the guy, like, I, I won't see you anymore? No, never said that. No, I remember I wrote him. Yeah, you wrote him. <laughs> Hi, I'd like to meet you one day. Yeah, I wrote the guy telling him. That was him a that, bad idea. Yeah, I don't know why you did it. Like, I wrote the guy and I said, like, oh, blah, 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 I have feelings for Brian and blah, blah, blah. Now we're going out together and I'm sorry. And blah, blah, blah. <laughs> He's right. He's yeah. like, go. Oh. I'm so possessive. <laughs> your mind. Ow. What you don't understand is that you're my property, Brian. Help. And. Yeah, so that's how we got together, and then from that day onward, the 24th of December is like the official date we started going out for real together. Official date. Yeah, the official date. And that's, we've been going out now officially for six years, that's right? Going on six. Going on December six this December. December, okay. Now, moving on to the next part of the story. <coughs> uh, so we started dating, it was awesome, and we eventually got engaged. Yeah. So many of you guys are asking this in the comment section of the video. You see the rings. And that happened uh, two years ago? Three years ago. Four years ago. 2014? Four, four years. years ago. Almost four years. 
a long okay. time. So almost four years ago, on the 24th of December, again, we were filming a video <coughs> called um, Christmas something. It was our first us. Christmas special. Our first Christmas special. You can find it on our channel. It's a play. It's a video where we made up like some silly sweaters. Sweaters and made a turkey. And made a turkey. That was super cool. We had such great ideas. And we were doing this, and all the day, like, Brent seemed to be quite nervous. And anyways, we went back to my parents' place for the evening, because we always go, like I said, to my parents' place to celebrate Christmas. And then, uh, as I was going upstairs, because I wanted to play cards with Brian. Because you don't know this, but I'm a big, a big fan of uh, magic cards, like Magic the Gathering, and I love playing it. And I'm always, like, bothering Brian, and I'm like, Please play with me, play with me, because I don't have anyone to play with. And I was getting my cards because he said yes. And as I was in my room, I turned around and there he was, one knee on the floor with the classic pose. With the classic pose with a ring. Uh. <laughs> and I just looked at him and I was <clears throat> so confused because I didn't know what was happening. And he was like, <sighs> Yeah, I was shaking. He I was didn't know shaking. I was going to be that frightened. And I didn't understand what was the purpose of it all. And I just was there holding my cards. And I was like, can we play? And then you, you were like... Uh, I didn't say a word. Did, you didn't say a word? Nope. You I didn't just, ask me? I just said nothing. I was just down on one knee, not knowing what that meant. And then just waited for you to say, yeah. <laughs> and you did. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, yeah. So we got engaged nearly four years ago, and we're still engaged. We're not married yet. <laughs> That's right. But we don't see it that negatively. I mean, we want to get married. It's just like right now it's not the best moment for us in the sense that financially and where we are in life in general. It's not time. We're, it's not ready yet. We want to be like, we want it to be perfect and special. And to do that, we need more resources and just to be more comfortable in general. So... We're, it's not because we're holding it off and don't want to get married yet. We do want to get married, but it's just right now we feel good. And when the time is going to be right, we're going to do it. That's right. And that's how we got engaged. Yeah. Yeah. It is a pretty big story. Eh? It's a long story. It's and a long story. We skipped story. a few years. And we skipped a lot of things, but these are like the major milestones. So I remember another milestone was when we moved in together. It's three years ago. It's three years ago when we moved in together. And we were so excited because we used to be, like, every time we see we saw each other, we, we would go shopping and see, like, all these furnitures and stuff. And we were like, oh, I want to buy this for a while. We're going to be together and buy this and buy that. And that's where we're going to put it in the apartment, blah, 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 blah. And we just filled up uh, my parents' basement and garage. Yeah, and they couldn't wait for us to get with out. like <laughs> tables and stuff and furniture. It was we had so much thing like prepared in advance before we moved in together, and we just felt so excited. And then we started visiting apartment, and it didn't take long. We saw this apartment here, Caramel. You're beautiful. We saw this place and we fell in love with it immediately. And. We fell in love with it, and then we signed the papers, and we moved in. And my parents were so helping in the process. Like, they, they came with me. We painted the whole thing uh, uh, in the color you see it now. It's a light gray. And we cleaned everything. We moved in. And when they left and we were alone, we just felt like, oh, wow, we really did it. We're, like, in our own place together. And everything's cool. Everything's next step cool. is a house. Yeah, next step is a house. But I remember the next morning, like we slept, and the next morning when we woke up, the first day you wake up in your own place, in your own apartment, it's very special, and you feel like, wow, this is so cool. This is so cool. Even though we didn't have a fridge, a stove, yeah, a it, washing machine. <laughs> it took a couple of days to get those, but it's, it's, it's just a feeling that you can't forget. Your first apartment, your first place you move in. I miss that feeling. It was really cool. I still I don't it. miss the feeling that I got when we were moving in and your parents were helping us. And the second that they leave, that they leave. Oh, my God. That's the worst fail that yeah. they left. <laughs> what, the second that they left, <laughs> ah, I, was, I really felt like, well, now what? Now what are we going to do? Does this mean we're on our own? Does this mean we're real adults now? And yeah, that feeling passed after 10 minutes. Yeah. After 10 minutes, I was like, okay, good. <laughs> no one bothers me here. Oh my God, I can't get over it. When they leave. Ah, <laughs> if any of my English teachers saw this live event, they would kill me. 
Pfft. Caramel is losing her. Oh, she sheds her hair so bad. <laughs> Poor Caramel. There's this thing, on, there's a new gimmick on Facebook <clears throat> that they're sharing across the board, and it's like a glove with tiny little like um, silicone pricks or whatever, and they ju you just rub the cat or the animal, and it grabs all the shedding hair, all the dirt, and all the, I guess, allergens, and it, st and it sticks to the glove, and then you just... Get rid of it, I guess. Yeah, but and it's yeah. perfect for grooming your cat. Perfect for. Cat and I don't want to buy it because no. she is such uh, a hair machine. I don't know. A hair machine? Yeah, whatever. What's that kind of word? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> We're bad. <laughs> okay, what should we tell next? Now we've gone through our story. Are we? Not another half-hour story. <laughs> no. We well, we could. What could we tell the people? Um. Our, our first trip together. What was our first trip? Together? Was it Toronto? Yeah, that was it. But what's left to say? We just said it. Oh yeah, first trip together, Toronto. <laughs> Next. <laughs> ah. All this talking has got me tired. Yeah. Oh yeah, guys. We started watching yet another TV show on Netflix. Oh yeah, Narcos. We started watching Narcos, and I could not be more hooked. This is the next. Breaking Bad. The next best thing since Breaking Bad, but don't talk to me about season two or three, because we're just there. It was very great. How about we answer some questions, because people are dying to have us answer questions, I think. So here, Lewis says, do you guys already have your breakfast off camera? Yes, we did. Just like a couple minutes before we started the live event, we yeah. were eating chocolatine. How do we say chocolatine in English? I guess we call it like that. Chocolatine. chocolatine. And it was pretty good. <clears throat> Oh, random girl watches the show, Narcos. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. There is a Pride Parade in Portland, Oregon, so can you come? It's around 8.30 a.m. on June 17th. I wish we could, but I'm not sure we will. And that's Brian's your birthday. Brian's going to be working, and it's my birthday. June 17th is my birthday. Slash Games, never watch Breaking Bad. You should do it. It's super good. Do we know some Russian words? Привет. What does it mean? I think that means hello. Привет. <laughs> hi guys, hi me, Tsuki Uchi ah. And give a uh, hoi 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 hoi. <laughs> Has there ever been a time where you've had a bad argument? That's a question from I can whoa, 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 the questions are going <laughs> fast. I can't uh, Oh yes, we do have arguments. Mm -hmm. And but we never had like a big, big fight. I remember uh, when we moved in together, many people would tell me like, you're going to see in the first two or three months, you're going to have like lots of arguments together because you're going to be living together and uh, you're going to have some fights and it's normal because you're adjusting to the new way of life. <clears throat> but uh, we never had that. Like I remember when we moved in, we were so happy and we never had like a big argument together. Sometimes we don't agree on some things and sometimes we just argue over silly things, but it's never big fights. Mm. Like there wasn't a point in our relationship where we went like, we should break up. Was there? I don't think so. I don't think so. We wouldn't remember. So no, we, we don't have, like what, one thing, what, what I feel is cool with our relationship is before we really started going out together, we really knew each other very well and we were good friends, which always helps. Mm. And I guess that's why. And we, we do almost everything together. Like when we're when we're like both home, we just do stuff together. We watch shows together. We go out together. It's really rare that one of us is going to do something different than the other. And I guess that helps with the relationship. Mm -hmm. mm. No problem. Nicole is here. Yeah, I know Malik. Uh, I know what you're talking about, the Shadow Hunters <laughs> couple. I just started watching the, the series and I can't wait to get to that part yet. So because you guys were suggesting it, so I'm 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 starting to get into it. Uh, Ronald McDonald, I'm gonna have a crush on one of my gay friends. How can I tell him that I like him without bullies bullying us or scaring him off? 
uh, do it in private. If you're confident with the guy and have a good relationship with him, but don't want anyone else to know, just talk to him in private and do it. But if you're, if you're not sure, then maybe you should be sure before. Barbican Blues, Pascal had headaches subsided. Yes, my headaches are gone. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but a uh, couple months back, I used to have like headaches every day for like months. And it was awful. I went to see doctors that didn't, didn't know what was happening. And then eventually they were off. I don't know what caused them, but now I don't have headaches. Like I, I mean, I do have headaches sometimes, but it's the normal ones. What I'm suffering from right now is insomnia. I have difficulty sleeping. I think my sleep schedule is like kind of messed up. I don't know if it's because Ryan's shift are during the night now, but I don't know. I have to fix that. Have you seen Infinity War? Uh, that's Scott Bretzky question. No, I haven't. Uh, I guess I'm going to wait well, till it's on either Netflix or I can rent it. But uh, I do love superhero, mo superhero movies, but uh, I don't think I'm going to go see it in the theaters. Spirit of Shadows, vous vous êtes réveillé quand? À 9h. À 9h? Ouais. T'es levé à 9h, fait que une heure avant le live. I don't know what to write, so hi. Hi, <laughs> Mel Cypher. Oh, that's a question here. Why don't you make a Discord room and speak <clears throat> with fans? That's Bonnie. I know I've heard what Discord is, but I'm not quite familiar with it right now because I know it's like a new place to chat and speak with people, and some YouTubers have it. Uh, I'm going to look into it. Slash games, Brian family here, so it's not just Pascal. <laughs> yeah, I know I can be sometimes a lot by myself, but now we have Brian with me. Because during the weekend, Brian is off, and uh, can, can we say this? Brian is off. Of what? Of work. Off to work? No, it's off work during the weekends. Brian oh, in the work. weekends. Oh, yeah, he's off work. But during the weeks when I used to do live events, and Brian was working. That's why I was alone. Uh, oh, masculinepluriel.org. Aimeriez-vous apporter les parcs nationaux du Québec en respirant les poumons dans les grands espaces? C'est beaucoup vraiment santé. Oui, on aime les parcs nationaux du Québec. C'est là qu'on a été. Ben, c'était la, la, la Mauricie, c'était un Notre parc. premier site de camping. Notre premier site de camping, c'était euh, Parc de la Mauricie. Mm -hmm. Et puis, on a vraiment aimé ça. Puis, on va peut-être retourner cet été. On est allé l'année passée. On a été l'année passée. On a été deux fois là. Ouais, ouais, deux fois. Au même parc. Ouais, au même parc. On aime vraiment les grands espaces. Le lac qui était là aussi, on a fait du canot, c'était vraiment le fun. Um, fait que, ouais, on aime vraiment ça. Are you going to write a book? That's Pedro. Hey Pedro, when we saw a video of Brian Singh. Okay, are you going to write a book? I guess someday we might write one. We just feel that we're not that big enough yet. I mean, sure, it's cool to have 40,000 subscribers and all, but uh, I guess we... We have to wait till we're, we're much bigger to really have something to write about. I don't know. Because then we would like make a book and it would be awesome. But it's definitely on my plans in the future if everything's successful. And when are we going to see Brian singing? <laughs> oh, when I'm drunk enough. Yeah, when he's drunk enough. Because he's too, he's too self aware in front of the camera. Like, no, I'm, it's not about it, it, it. Yeah, it is about that, but not not that much. I think I can get over, uh, over that pretty quickly. I really need some private space to do that kind of work. I can't do this here. I can't be doing like this sort of project knowing that I have neighbors that I might disrupt. Yeah. I don't want to have to go through that. I would really like to do that when I get my house. But that's something I'm pushing with Brian. Like I am telling him that he should start a channel where he's going to sing. And I want to, but now is not the right time for me because I know that cut like in the back of my mind, I couldn't be able to do it properly. And fully, if I had like uh, not a private space to do it, yeah, I can't have a private space here. It's impossible. But he's gonna do it someday. And yeah, I know it's a it's an excuse, an excuse. I can probably go to a studio and do it, but you know, I want to be realistic. For now, I have a job and I'm happy with it. And if I can do it, if I can, if I can hold it off until I get a house and I do that there in my house passionately, then that's how it's gonna be. That's the way I see it. I'm in no rush to start it now. Mm -hmm. 
and I see people are talking and some people have the Dan and Phil's book and Marcus Butler. Yeah, we know many, like almost all of the big YouTubers have their <clears throat> books. So we're just not that big yet, but it's something we, we're going to do someday. That would be good. Yeah. Some people are commenting <laughs> that they don't like their own accent. Here's something I'm going to say to you guys. Um, people always comment that they like my accent, which is super always cool to, to hear. But uh, for me, when I hear my own accent and when I'm speaking like right now, I know I have an accent and I feel bad for it. I mean, I don't like it. I really hate to have <laughs> that kind of accent and not be able to speak as fluently as per se Brian would. But it's something I'm working on and hopefully I'm getting better with it. But yeah, I don't know. No, you, you are getting better. I am. It's different because I noticed that during the live events, I'm speaking quite well. But when we are recording videos and when I'm recording videos alone, I can I have like difficulties finding my words and I definitely have a bigger accent then. I feel it's because I'm more nervous. I don't know why. I'm less nervous live than I am like just with a camera on my own. Just before we lose sight of it, Spirit of Shadows asks, I who does energy because she asked for they asked four times. Oh, for allergies? Yeah. Oh, sorry, we missed it. Basically, um, Brian has an almond allergy. Yeah, I'm allergic to almonds. I used to be allergic to cats. Yeah, but hopefully he's not anymore. No, because ever since we had caramel, I was allergic the first week or so, and then just disappeared. And yeah, I think that's about everything I'm allergic to. That's it. Me, I have an allergy, but I don't know what it is, because it would just pop up like out of the blue and I starts <clears throat> my face starts to swell and I don't know why. I have like an, uh, how do we say in English, EpiPen? EpiPen. EpiPen. I have an EpiPen in case things get too serious, but I don't even know what I'm allergic to. I'm a, <laughs> what, what do you call that? What? Nothing. <gasps> what? I don't know. Do you guys have a bird or ever considered having a bird? We don't. I'm not interested in birds. Bird doesn't like birds, but I have a friend who has like a, the small, uh, how do we call it? What is it in French? A basil? I don't know. It's a little, a little bird. It's cute. It's colorful. And it has a beak. And um, Of course it has a beak. It's a bird. And it's just so cute. And they seem so intelligent too. Yeah, I just, uh, my sister had a bird and I didn't like it. No. Yeah. yeah. It's very noisy. Hi, here's uh, Julieta Salazar. Hope you guys are okay. I don't want to see a breakup. You're my favorite couple. Love you guys. Hugs and kisses. Thank you. And the reason why the, the video is titled How We Met, Started Dating and Broke Up is because for the first half of it, we just told the story of how we met and <clears throat> how we got together in the first week we met and then broke up within a week and then got back uh, together again. Sorry, Slash Game just says, look what he said. What? Slash Games. Uh, where is that? The second comment from the bottom. Get a snake. No! <laughs> Never, Brian, ever, ever. Brian's worst fear is snakes. Oh, God. But, but I always watch YouTube videos because when they're in the wild, I don't care because yeah. that's what they do. They eat animals. I would leave Brian alone on the computer for a couple of minutes just to grab a, a glass of water. And then when I get back, Brian would be watching snakes eating like lions or things like that. <laughs> yes. And I would be, what are you watching this? That's interesting. But when I see them in a house or something, I get really, really uncomfortable. I don't like it. Alicia asked if we will get other tattoos in the future. Well, Brian has a rendezvous. I have an appointment for May 18th, and I'm getting the one that I have in my stomach finished. I know it's been a long time, it's been over a year, but I keep pushing my last appointment because I have some things to do. But yes, May 18th is the official day that this tattoo gets finished, and then after that, I'm probably going to be taking a break. Well, I'm looking forward to having new tattoos. I just don't know where I'm going to get them and what I'm going to get, but it's something I want to do in the near future, too, because I love tattoos. Once you get one, you want to get more. Dear Brian and Pascal, I have plans to travel with two friends of mine when the youngest whoop, whoop, whoop. when the youngest of one of us graduates in high school in three years. Any advice? On traveling? On traveling with the youngest. Any advice? Well, I thought I thought I was reading that you guys were gonna live together, but you're gonna be traveling together. Yeah. 
Well, unfortunately, we do not travel very much, so I don't know. But they're going to live, like, travel and live with two friends. I guess as long as... As everybody participates in the course tour. Tours, yeah. And pack things accordingly, be prepared. Try and be as open and as communicative as possible because it's not really, I mean, you're going to be like three or four people. So it's not, it's not like you're all going to be one big couple, but it's always great that you guys know what you're up to, how you're feeling about certain things because you are going to be living together for a considerable amount of time. And it would be this a similar situation as if you were a couple, so I'm trying to keep as open communication as possible. And if you're traveling by car, one thing I would advise is to know uh, the the way to the destination you're going like pretty pretty well. Because if you get lost on the way, you're gonna lose so much time, and then you're gonna feel rushed sense. in your vacation. Because when we went to Boston, the first day uh, of our vlog, I think you see us in the car and we we're traveling, and it took us way more time than it should have taken us to get to Boston because we got <clears> lost like a couple of times along the way and we had to stop it's, and yeah, find Yeah, it's not that I got lost. It's just I took off, I took the wrong exits, the wrong highways. So that definitely set us back a, a good two hours. So, and that, that really sucked. That was, was a good road trip, but it was a bad road trip at the same time. So try and be as planned as possible. Uh oh, here's a question by Bonnie. Uh, uh, you were bullying to be gay. I mean, uh, uh, was I bullied? Uh, yes, I was. But it's a subject I'm gonna keep. Like, I'm not gonna talk much about it because a very uh, we filmed a video not so long ago about my experiences in high school, and I'm gonna talk about it. Uh, hopefully, it's gonna come up next Saturday. I'm just waiting for a go because we're partnering up for this video, and I'm gonna tell you my story. But I can tell you that. Yes, I was bullied in school growing up. That's all I'm going to say. In Germany, other people love you if you're gay. It's so funny. <laughs> That's why right. I want to go to Germany because I heard, you know, yeah, super especially in Berlin in the metropolitan area. I didn't Germany, know. like gay rights is like one of the most advanced in Europe. For real? Yeah. So. Well, that's cool. I didn't know about it. That's super great. But I'd love to go but to Germany. But here in Montreal, it's not so bad, too. Oh, we're we're quite open-minded. Yeah, it's good. We're lucky for that because I know some of you guys are living in places where it's a crime to be gay. So mm -hmm. and it's not a very tolerant atmosphere. Sorry. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I, um, I, yeah, I agree with you, Pedro. For traveling, plan ahead, schedule trips, talks about talks about things you want to <laughs> see or do. Get it all in the same page and do things you enjoy and cherish. It's cheaper reserving and buying ahead. Nice trip. That's absolutely true, to Pedro, and those are quite good advices. Are you guys going to get more pet? That's a question from Deshane Bain. Are we going to get more pet? I'd like to get oh, a dog. Yeah, we, we'd love to get a dog. Either a little pug or a little wiener dog. A or sausage something. dog, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think this is a very too small, confined space for a dog. Yeah, apartments are not ideal for dogs. and. I mean, our neighbor downstairs has a dog, but and it's a very small dog, but I just I don't know. It's I know that it can, make, it can be noisy and... So we're going to have to wait until we get a house. For yeah. That. Oh, bye, FNAF Fox. Thanks for being there. <clears throat> Rainbows, any advice on how to survive being gay in school? Uh, if you're bullied, it sucks. And it's a different case for everybody. But what I can tell you is that, like, I had a rough high school period and everything got better afterwards. And I know it's a cliche, like, the, the in the gay community that saying like it gets better it does when you get older uh, well as you grow up because when i was a kid i always felt alone yeah but for me it's probably it i guess it's different with people but what when i got older like around 18 19 20 i really felt it did got better because i just didn't care what people think anymore and that's true i didn't care and i let it roll off my back some people don't some people are confrontational. Some people will let that let it roll off their back. Some people are going to try to reason with the other people to try and you know figure out what's you know creating this sort of tension and conflict. But you just get, you just come to a point in your life where it's like, do I really have time to waste my energy on this thing? I mean, on on being on giving fueling the fire to the bullying. You know, if you just let it die, 
it can take it it can take a while but if you don't give it any oxygen it's just going to burn out for that one person so it might not be as effective as if you're sort of like confronting reasonably but for me if i just you know forget it move on do what you do usually and that's the way i deal with it and i don't think i, I can't really remember an instance where i was bullied about for being gay probably in high school but i just don't remember it very much because I don't pay any attention to it. That's the way I deal with it anyway. When you get older, it does get better. Yeah, it does. And that's what we both can tell you. Um, I know Spirit of Shadow uh, is leaving. Fait, merci d'avoir été là. Bye-bye. Um, Nicole, you're planning to get a tattoo of a quote from us? <laughs> that's crazy, but that's, that's kind of cool. <laughs> so if you do, please send us a picture. <laughs> We'd like to see that. Hey, Ivory. Bye, Ivory. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Ivory. Minecraft chickens. I asked my grandma if she likes gays, and she said no. She said it's weird. I asked her if I would, if I would buy, and she pretty won't accept me if I tell her. Oh, that's sad, but people of older generations, I feel, have more difficulties with it. But I know my grandma knows about it, and she doesn't talk to it about it. No. We actually met. Yeah, she was right pretty. She was pretty cool. She's like she doesn't care. No, she's just oh, okay. So I'm about. lucky for that. My my family is pretty old. Okay. <laughs> so guys, a belated May the fourth. What? What happened May fourth? I'm so I'm so bad. What was was that a holiday? I have to check my calendar. It, it's related to Star Wars. Are you Star Is Wars it? fan? Yeah. Uh, I didn't watch. May it. the Fourth be with you. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, I don't watch and the Revenge new Star of the Wars, fifth, but we watch the whole old Star Wars. I don't watch the oh, the new ones. The new ones. I like the old ones. Like the first six. We like we went through like all movies back to back. Sometimes. Yeah, because they were on a on TV. Sort of marathon <laughs> on TV. So guys, uh, it's been an hour since we started and I guess we're gonna end it here. Uh, once again, thank you guys for being here. And, oh, one last question. Are you interested in sports? Uh, not really. I like bowling and badminton, that's about oh, it. Oh, you like bowling? I like soccer too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm an athlete. I, I'm not, I don't follow sports that much. I don't follow it, I like I just, playing. I just follow the Olympics sometimes. And that's I like playing it. some sports, but I don't follow sports. I think following sports is I'd no. rather play than watch. Okay. So guys, thank you so much for being there. It was awesome as usual, and I hope you, you guys enjoy it. And with that being said, we're going to see each other next Saturday for a very special video. I just wait like for the goat to put it up and with that being said that's about it right? yeah we had a great morning thanks you guys you're awesome thanks for showing up it was great it and was great. Uh, and of course you're going to be able to see this uh live event back we're going to upload it on our channel and what's great now is that you can see the chat section so you, you're going to see like if you commented you're going to see your comments and feel free to watch it again and leave another comment that would be awesome so guys thank you so much Hope you have a great weekend and just enjoy your life, guys. That's it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye-bye, guys. We love you so much. Bye.